Another one of these days when I have to react afterwards. I really would love to be able to react one of these. Not afterwards. I want to have like live input from you guys. But unfortunately that's not going to happen. At least you guys get a premiere of me reacting to this without any cuts or anything. So that's what you get. All right. We're going to watch this now. I've avoided everything I possibly could avoid. I guess I the only thing I already knew about was about the Mewtwo raid. And it was about to happen that we were going to get something. But let's find out what else is revealed here, at least. I'm so glad not a lot of people spammed a bunch of videos. <clears throat> let's see. Hello, everyone. Hello. I'm Utsunomiya from the Pokemon Company. I always hope it's not too loud. In today's presentation, we'll okay, be sharing information it. about several Pokemon projects, including the Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet games. Got some more information about the uh, Scarlet and Violet. That's all, great. The weekend of the 2023 Pokemon World Championships is nearly upon us at last. Oh, there's the next World I Championship. Hope you enjoy huh. this video. I'm not really good at competitive though. Hello, Pokemon trainers. <laughs> I'm Chris, Chris Brown. Brown. From Pokemon Company International. We're thrilled to bring the Pokemon World Championships to Yokohama, Japan for the first time ever. In Wait, they haven't done the championship in Japan? That's all weird. The globe will make the journey to compete for the title of world champion across the Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet video games. I guess it's been Pokemon like, games, I guess most of the championships, Go, oh, I guess there's probably like championships. These uh, world champions will walk <laughs> home with the I was talking while he's talking. Daughter. I'm not either interested in the competitive scene of Pokemon. I just care about, you know. Will also receive a special welcome gift. Since 2013, the featured promo card in this kit has been Champions Festival, which showcases unique artwork themed after each year's... Oh, I got, got a Kanto map now, in the background, I just realized. Time, we will debut a new promo card. Terrorist new promo card? Those promo cards are so rare now. A lot of people thought, no, it's gonna, not going to be rare. It's going to be very, very easy to get. But, you know, they only printed those cards in the actual promo. I wish I had the money to buy plushies, but no, I do not. As top trainers compete together in Yokohama, we invite the rest of our global community to celebrate Pokemon. Okay, since I don't really care too much about competitive, I just want to tell you guys, make sure you guys go down below and clip this. And I will be giving you guys shout outs if you clip uh, highlights as YouTube shorts. I appreciate that. Thanks, Chris. Oh, sorry. Rikia Wantanabe here from the Pokemon Company. Okay. To celebrate the Pokemon World Championships 2023, we've begun a number of events here in Yokohama Minatomirai. All right. We're collaborating with various facilities in Yokohama so that visitors can experience the atmosphere and Pokemon of each region in the Pokemon world. And you'll find plenty of photo ops set up for you, along with oh. great artwork around Sakura Gicho Station and Minotomerai Station oh, that's so to cool. celebrate the World Championships. Additionally, you can we'll see how tall <laughs> Ursa Ring is. <laughs> at the key for you to enjoy during the competition period. From August 11th to 13th, stop on by the Pokemon Trainer Cruise. Trainer Cruise? There are many spaces Ooh. on board where Pokemon trainers from around the world can gather and mingle to enjoy some casual trading and battling with their Nintendo Switch consoles and Pokemon TCG decks in hand. And there are many more events being held, including Pikachu parades. We hope you'll enjoy a fantastic summer together with Pokemon in Yokohama Minatomidai. For more details, please visit the special events website. Finally, I think Chris and I would both like to say... Otano Shimi! Alright. We actually have one more video related to the 2023 Pokemon World Championships to well, show. Well, I know what I'm not gonna include in shorts. <laughs> I'm not very interested in Hi, this I'm stuff. Hi, I'm Ghost from the Pokemon Company International. We're thrilled to bring the Pokemon world together for the premiere of our newest short animated series, Pokemon Path to the Peak, at the Pacifico Yokohama oh, yeah. on August 11th, alongside the, Pokemon the World Championships. Netflix uh, animated show, claymation kind of thing. Pokemon game to life as you've never seen before. 
Set in the compelling world of competitive Pokemon trading card game play, it's the story of our hero Ava who discovers her natural talent alongside her partner Pokemon, Oddish. Oh. With the support of family, community, and newfound friends, she sets her goal to rise to the very top. Hey, what? Here's a sneak peek. Another show? I know it's tough moving to a new place, but think of it as Whoa, a new Whoa, this art style looks nice. Try new things, make new friends, and eventually you'll find your place. The animation is like accepting. so Welcome clean. To wow. The Pokemon Club. You all Pokemon Club. That's awesome. Oh, it's no trading way. card based, like real so life based. Can play. But how would you do in a real competition with championship points on the line? The path to the peak. I guess it's a championship based thing, I guess. <laughs> Look out for Pokemon Path to the Peak. Not Episode bad. Episode 1 will also be available globally on YouTube August 11th. We can't wait for you and all your friends and family to join us on the journey. Seems cool. The first ever Pokemon World Championships to be hosted in Japan is nearly upon us. We hope I guess there hasn't been a World Championships in Japan. That makes sense. Next up. We have so there's the been a world championships everywhere else. Tough talking Pikachu. We missed like two years of championships, I think. No, wait. The name's Pikachu. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> and I'm what you might call Detective Pikachu. A detective. I, well, I didn't work here in Rhyme City, where humans and Pokemon live side by I wonder side. Wonderful, get a uh, Detective Pikachu a sequel not movie. Just the copies outstanding. When I'm not busy solving cases that crop up. I'm looking for leads on my missing partner, Harry. And it's no walk in the park, let me tell you. Mm -hmm. You want to know more about me? All right, all right. I guess I can open up a little. I guess the movie is a combination. Tim. He's my partner at the moment. For some reason, Tim can understand what I'm saying, even though he's human. And this guy right here is Harry. He's Tim's dad, if you can believe it. Then we got Tim's mom, Irene, and his little sister, hmm. Sophia. There's also Rachel, who goes the, the to the character design is not terrible. Well, speaking of Rachel, honestly, her dad, Howard, he's actually the mayor of Rhyme City. And I barely scratched the surface of all the interesting Daddy? characters around here. No, now let me give you the gist of what me and Tim do. When is it like a re? Person, I wonder if it's a remake. I haven't played it like the Pikachu, so I don't know. We work together using our case notebook to deduce what happened. When investigating a scene, we're total pros at finding everything. But even pros gotta take it easy every so often. You can count on us to solve even the toughest cases in the flash. Ha 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 ha! Sometimes other Pokemon help us with our investigations. Oh, uh, Growlithe, the best boy. She can track down suspects with her sense of Yo, I might actually play this game just because Growlithe is in it. Packs a pulverizing punch. Punch. Kinds of Pokemon oh my god. The take the Pikachu get a ride on Growlithe. That's awesome. Get in the High Hat Cafe. It's a famous coffee house in Rhyme City. And I'm their best customer. Oh, that first cup in the morning really hits the spot. All right. <laughs> Looks like trouble's brewing. We just can't catch a break. Seems like another big mystery is unfolding in the city. Oh, Corviknight is part in it now. Find Harry so I guess it's all, this Detective Pikachu is all the way up probably to Generation 9. A slowpoke detective. That's the release date for Detective Pikachu Returns. Oh, they actually have a release date? Some mysteries together. Was there a release date last time? I don't remember. They did reveal it last percents, I think. Rough, tough talking, powered by coffee. <laughs> Self-described great detective Pikachu works together. I really would love to see like uh, the the Salt movie Pikachu as a pattern. plushie. I guess that's what that is in the background. Detective Pikachu Returns for Nintendo Switch Systems is now available for pre-order on Nintendo eShop and at participating retailers and online. Oh, man, looks interesting. All right. We hope you check it out. And uncover for yourself. I honestly might play it. I don't know. These two must tackle. Would you guys be interested in watching me Next, play a Detective have a Pikachu? And Let me know. To share with you. Number of more. All right. It was it's thirty minutes long, so I'm guessing there's a lot. Hmm. 
Oh, the horror! Finally, hor is there a release date for this series in dub now? I really want to watch it. I really hope that it's coming soon. I haven't seen the trailer for it at all. Liko. Or Ly Lyco, right? Lyco? I think that's how you say it. There probably is like a Spanish way you pronounce the name, but I don't know it. I'm not Spanish, so. That's a cool airship, wow. It's a special Pokeball. I don't know what that is. Ooh, -hoo. a shiny, shiny Rayquaza? Hey. Pikachu with a captain's hat? Coming soon. No release date, really? Is this another trailer? Oh, they showed the Therapagus. I guess they're saving... Oh. This Pokemon year, Go. Pokemon Go is once again holding multiple Pokemon Go Fest events. The locations for 2023 include London, Osaka, and coming next weekend, New York City. On August 26th and 27th, we will also be holding Pokemon Go Fest 2023 Global, a digital event that can be enjoyed from anywhere. In this year's Pokemon Go Fest, Diancie will appear for the first time ever. Diancie can Mega Evolve into Mega Diancie 2. There was a Mega Evolution for Diancie? This celebration of Pokemon Go comes only once a year, so we I don't remember there being a Mega Evolution of that Pokemon. Oh, and huh. one more thing. I guess, is it a new? Hmm. Okay. Shoes. Okay. <laughs> oh, are they actually bringing the, uh... Oh, okay. Beginning in September, Pokemon first discovered in the Paldea region will be a Oh, okay, so it is the Paldea region Pseudo Pokemon. For adventure and head out in search of Pokemon from every region, from Kanto to Paldea. Pokemon Go Fest, the 2023 Pokemon World Championships, and more Pokemon making their Pokemon Go debut. As we continue through Pokemon Go's seventh year, your adventures will only continue to expand with the entire world as your stage. All right, cool. Pokemon Unite recently celebrated its second anniversary. Allow us to introduce some current events. First is a new type of battle, Panic Parade. With the help of your team, that, that mode was not that bad. It was interesting. I didn't realize you had to actually upgrade your Pokemon. <laughs> like you have to upgrade the stats Plus, on your Pokemon because you're super Pokemon weak at the beginning. The fray. During battle, Mewtwo can Mega Evolve into Mega Mewtwo X. Mega Mewtwo X I guess they're gonna add in Mega Mewtwo Y now. Players can obtain Unite License X Mewtwo via an event happening now. And starting August 17th, you'll also be able to get Unite yep. License Y Mewtwo, which allows Mewtwo to Mega Evolve into Mega Mewtwo Y. As Mega Mewtwo Y, you'll be able to battle differently than Mega Mewtwo X. Pokemon so I think it's only one, yeah, one Mewtwo per team, but you can have the different ones. One of each one on each team. World Championship Series prediction event is also underway. All players prediction event. Then what's that mean? An excitement of this year's World Championships. And after this broadcast ends, we'll be gifting power. That they added platinum boost emblems. Okay, I didn't know that. I might just get back to like grind off stream. I'm probably never gonna stream the Unite again, but I might make videos on it though. When the new character comes out, I've been thinking about bringing that back. Two years since the game came out. Oh man, Pokemon battling! It's so much better, so much more fun than I ever even knew. Okay. Let's have us a fruitful battle. Is that supposed to be the voice for Nimona? Oh, that. Oh, yeah. I totally didn't know this was gonna happen. Shay didn't tell me like ten times in the podcast that this was gonna happen. 
He the totally did not. <laughs> she has a palm up. Alright. No, it's uh, re released on percents. I wonder how many things are gonna get released on this percents. Re yes, give me Pokemon Stadium 2, please! I just wanna play Pokemon Stadium 2 right now. Victor and Spectrier. Alright. And to celebrate this Pokemon present, you can claim a gift of 3,000 gems after this presentation ends. There are plenty more events in the works as we ramp up for the fourth anniversary of Pokemon Masters EX, so stay tuned. Oh yeah, I think I did a stream when it was like the three year anniversary. Uh, Cafe Mix. Oh? Huh? What's this? The newest dish at the cafe is sushi? No, wait, it's the mimicry Pokemon Tatsugiri, now visiting the cafe in Pokemon Cafe Remix. Hmm. Serve up some delight to curly form Tatsugiri, droopy form Tatsugiri. And they, oh, they have different like <laughs> poses for each one. <laughs> I, I don't get puzzle games that much. I don't know why people are such a big fan of puzzle games. Uh, the only I guess you could call Tetris a puzzle Plus, game, right? This Pokemon present, we're also giving away a special summer fun Jigglypuff. Hmm. And beginning today, five star chef Tropical Vaporeon is now available. <laughs> five star Italy. chef Tropical Vaporeon. All right. <laughs> Plus, Sprigatito, Quacoco, and Quaxley are also being featured again in delivery. Celebrate all this good news with a bonus 11 times express delivery. Available now without using in game currency. Play Pokemon Cafe Remix on Nintendo Switch or your mobile device and discover what new Pokemon and outfits may show up in your cafe next. Experience the world of the Pokemon TCG in video game form with Pokemon Trading Card Game. Originally on Game Boy Color when it That's comes cool. to Game Boy and Nintendo Switch Online. I, I've tried it before, but I haven't really tried it that much. And battle all sorts of trainers using your own cards. Win battles against strong opponents and try to build the ultimate deck. And we have even more good news. Yes! Pokemon Stadium 2. Finally! It took them like it's so long to get this. I can finally play it without glitches and bugs. <laughs> It's the, the only problem with this is you can't use your Game Boy games. You can play Eager Eevee. Pichu's Power Plant. Pichu's Power Plant. I don't remember any of these because I only got to play this game like sometimes. The two titles you see here will be available shortly after this presentation. After the presentation. Thank you. Finally. Ah. Pokemon Sleep. A game that makes waking up something to look forward to was released. I last forgot month. to do it last night. I just when you fell asleep. Sleep, your results will determine which styles you'll find Pokemon sleeping in. You may find Pokemon with rare sleep styles. <laughs> Straight and sleep. So try to rest your very best and study the many sleep styles waiting to be discovered. We're also preparing a good sleep day in-game event for the night of the full moon in case some people struggle to get enough sleep that night. Hmm. With the hope you can get enough sleep, even on such nights, we're powering up drowsy power on good sleep days so you can meet even more Pokemon. Hmm, okay. I need to go to sleep early tonight. I keep messing it up. Try to get your very best rest together with Pokemon Sleep. Okay. Well, why was it so delayed there? And next, we turn to the latest updates about the Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon... Finally! Games, the newest games... How long have we been going for? 20 minutes? November last year. Please have a look at this video. Alright, let's see what we got. 
Scarlet and Violet guys, let's go. Finally. Ooh, hello. That's a nice looking... I'm guessing this is like the concept art, right? It's so cool. Dude, the concept art is so amazing. Wow. Treasure, oh, treasure of your very own. What's that? Ooh, nice uh, 2D animation. That's awesome. Imagine if he just got a like a HD sprite game out of nowhere. Probably not. <laughs> hmm. Something that doesn't change. Something I never expected. Take a deep breath and step into our world. Oh, an animated web series, Paldean Wins. Oh, I thought it was... ...release an online original animated series set in the Paldea region. The name of the series is Pokemon Paldean Wins. All right. This original story will depict the youthful drama of several academy students as they come into That's their cool. Own, ...growing and learning as... We they actually get to see, like, a school thing. We hope you'll be excited thing. to see Paldea brought to in life... ...in the actual in schools from the series. games, which is really sweet. We have another Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet video to share with you all. Okay. I thought it was the games. He, he was just talking about the games, but then an anime showed up. Like, okay. Ayo, Mewtwo. There is a... Uh... Oh, it's Mew! <laughs> Mewtwo is like one of the best legendaries ever. I guess he's mostly the most unique one because he is the only one. Because they only made a one. I guess they only made one clone of him, right? On of Mew. I th I knew there was a lot of rumors about Mew three, like another clone of Mew two. Like I guess that's what it would be, like someone trying to clone Mew two. Very cool 3D animation with the starters from Paldea. That's awesome. Get Mewtwo and Mew. Add Mew into your team. We'll be holding an event called Get Mew and Mewtwo. Add Mew to your team and challenge a Mewtwo with the mightiest mark. The mythical Pokemon Mew and the legendary Pokemon Mewtwo. These two longtime rivals are bringing their fierce battles to Paldea. All right. That's an awesome looking logo. Wow. Starting right now, you can add Mew to your team by entering this password in the mystery gift menu. Get in your Mew with a zero. All Each right. Mew's Terra type, nature, and moves will differ. Oh, there's different moves for every th single Terra type one. Enjoy adventuring in the Paldea region with a Mew that's all your own. Meanwhile, okay. the legendary Pokemon Mewtwo will be appearing in a special Terra Raid battle event. September 1st. Okay, Emerge it's a, still a long time, and you'll but it's a long period raid, so we can right beat up a bunch of Mewtwo's. Mewtwo with Mew at your side Seems like uh, apparently Spirit Tomb special. is the best choice, maybe? We'll also hold a number of other Terra Raid battle events that'll help you Additional Mewtwo. Wave 1 and Wave Train 2? With your Mew and work together with your allies to take on Mewtwo. This event is slated to begin on September 1st. We hope you'll take part in these events. What is wave one and two? Finally, we'd like to share some updates about the DLC coming for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon. That's what I've been waiting for. You've like been saying a lot of that. Stop lying to me, please. Finally, we have it. Oh, there's Og Ogre Pond. Oh my God, the rain is like pouring like crazy. I'm sorry if you guys can hear that. This this DLC is gonna be so much fun. There's so many Pokemon I really want to use in this DLC. I hope Nido King and Nido Queen is here, please. I want part one: the Teal Mask. Ooh, hello. The environments. Uh, I know the environments. Oh, wait, what? What was that? 
Was that an app a different form of app one? What? Oh my god, this looks so cool. Finally don't have to wear the school uniform. Let's go! <laughs> we got the new uh, special Pokemon included with the DLC. And we're battling that weird apple thing. What is that? Is there a name for it that we can see right now? Oh my god! What is he gonna do? Okay, nothing I guess. Ogre Pawn is terrestrializing too. Whoa, wait, what? What is that terraform? What the heck? Huh? That was a crown that's not used for anything. I guess it's a special terra type. Is it a double typing or something? Oh, we get to see some of the the second DLC part. The Indigo Disc. Some interesting hairstyles for Pokemon characters, honestly. They added a lot of different interesting hairstyles for Pokemon. Trainers now. That's a big area, wow. Skarmory, oh, hello. We got fossil po- wait, no, that's not a fossil Pokemon, is it? Uh, I don't think that, that bird is a fossil. Hey! Dustnor. Did he just cook a Pokeball? <laughs> so many interesting characters. I'm guessing there's gonna be like a... What the heck is that? What does it look like? That, that was a weird Pokemon. What? Ooh, hello. Are they gonna show some detail of this, or is this is this it? I think we're close to the end of this. Oh wait, we got some paradox Pokemon. I think I saw right a weird Raikou giraffe Pokemon. <laughs> Blossom, hello. We got we got Canda sh sh Chandelier. Let's go. Wow, that's a lot of stuff happening. I couldn't keep up with all of it. Okay. Is there gonna be a release date finally? That would be great. An old folk tale passed down in the All land right. of Kitakami. Pokemon trainers waiting to battle you at Blueberry Academy. An area zero's hidden Blueberry Academy stuff. hidden Let's treasure take a stuff. Look at what we just saw. Okay. <clears throat> Treasure of Area Zero. Your adventures will extend beyond the Paldea region as you explore new places. All right, but can you actually fly around? The teal mask. Oh, there's like an NPC. Ryer, one of the teachers at Blueberry Academy. You'll take part in this year's joint school trip. <laughs> At the center of the land of Kitakami, a proud mountain stands tall. People live at the base of the mountain and grow apples in sprawling orchards. Rice paddies stretch across the land, and time passes slowly amid an abundance of nature. Hmm. <laughs> Girder, let's go. Polywag, I have a lot of shiny polywags, that's nice. Hey, who to the Noctowl is back. All right, siblings. The strong-willed Carmine and her younger brother, the meek and gentle Kieran. In battle, Kieran uses a new evolution of Applin. New evolution? Meet Diplin, a oh, it's the third evolution of Applin. Okay. You'll set out on a tour of Kitakami to learn all about a folktale past. That's cool. Land. This folktale tells of Pokemon who once saved Kitakami from an evil ogre. Evil. Oh, the ogre pawn. They saved it from ogre pawn. Okay. These po 
Pokemon are known as the Loyal Three, and they're hailed as heroes. In the land of Kitakami, inspired by the tale of the Loyal Three and the Ogre, the Festival of Masks is held each year, and the village bustles with people and Saul. All right. What mystery could lie behind this old folktale? We hope you'll all dive in and find out for yourselves. All right. <laughs> A traveling photographer is also visiting the village. Meet right. Karen. It seems she's here in search of a certain Pokemon. Take pictures of Pokemon alongside Karen and help her with her mission. Oh, you take fo photos of Pokemon. Hello. <laughs> in the Ogre Austin minigame, you can pop Ogre balloons and try for a high score. As oh, reward, some minigames. That's fun. You can help your Pokemon grow strong. You can use mochi to increase base points for your Pokemon's stats. A fresh start mochi can even reset a Pokemon's base points, so you can train your favorite Pokemon just the way you like. And that's not all. All reset to zero. Wow. Stick to. Take photos with wider angles using the roto stick. Try Yo. And give your snapshots more variety. That's so cool. Upgrade to the camera. Let's go. So they actually have the. Yo! Part two, the indigo disc. Does that mean that the Rotom phone can actually float around now? Finally. Your academy sister school will invite you to visit as an exchange student. This is exchange Blueberry student academy, where your story will unfold. Amazingly enough, this newly built school lies mostly underwater. Mostly underwater. In the terrarium located within the school, oh, the terrarium looks so amazing. Savanna biome, the lush coastal biome, the rough and rugged canyon biome, and the freezing polar biome. A total of four artificially created areas. Each of these as I, as I expected. Oh, Litleo and Pyro, let's go. You'll get to know the Wait, they're already in the game. What am I thinking? <laughs> there, Beldum. Beldum is what I'm excited about. And Beldum doesn't look as metally as Metagross does. I guess they showed like a shiny one. The Academy students often engage in the first each other trailer. And they formed a group called the BB League. Double battling. At the top of this league stand the Elite Four. There's an Elite Four, huh? There's the level headed student Lacey. The fiery battle loving cook Crispin. The taciturn and cool-headed Amaris and right. Drayton, whose laid-back attitude belies his impressive battle skills. His partner, Archaladon, is a new Pokemon Archaladon? from Duraludon. Yo, an evolution for Duraludon? That's what it was. I was like, wait. It looked very similar to another Pokemon, but I wasn't sure at first. <laughs> Flying tri Oh, you can actually fly around. That's so cool. You can actually fly around. One of the extracurricular activities at Blueberry Academy is the league. Oh, excuse me. It even has its own club room, which you can redecorate as you please. Decoration, let's go! Can you put shinies in there? In this room, you can find new ways to have fun, such as by changing up your Pokeball throwing style. Oh, we can have different pro styles. That's cool. At one point during your studies here, you'll be able to invite trainers from Paldea to be your special instructors. Okay. You can spend time with these trainers to get to know them better and battle them too. Finally, your adventure will lead you back to Paldea. What could the hidden treasure of Area Zero possibly be? I'm guessing there's also going to be an unlock in Area that was Zero. Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet's DLC, the hidden treasure of Area Zero. We hope you look forward to adventuring beyond Paldea's borders. I think the most excited I am is for Pokemon Stadium 2 finally being out, What's honestly. <laughs> but it's very cool now to see. The release date for part one. Hey, it's part two. one! Please watch for future announcements. The 13th of September. Let's go. We're so close. 
We hope you look forward to adventuring in the land of Kitakami. Yes, I do. I'm looking you. forward to it. That's all for today's presentation. All right, cool. Thank you for tuning in. There's nothing else. Well, that's it. Honestly, I like a lot of the, a lot of the evolutions look really nice. A lot of the evolutions were really cool. Oh no. Hey, I'm no. <laughs> Go back. Go back. YouTube, why are you being weird? Okay, let's have this as a video. Uh, I, I really liked everything that we got to see today. Uh, the thing I'm most excited about is that we finally have Pokemon Stadium 2. I always wanted to play that at my own leisure because I never had the game as a kid. And now it's like, it's like $120 or 20 euros, 120 euros, like a hundred pounds or whatever currency you have. It's very expensive to get the games now, which I'm very sad about. So I can't really buy them myself officially unless you guys support, of course. I'm just kidding, of course. <laughs> but yeah, that, that, that was a, not a bad, not a bad percent. It was not the best, probably. I think a lot of people wanted more. I was hoping for at least getting like maybe a collection of Game Boy games, but who knows? Maybe someday they will actually give what everyone wants, but you know. But yeah, I'm excited to do play the DLC very soon. The we're, we are almost less than a month. Well, we're a month and a few days until it's a month from now. And I cannot wait. I'm very excited. So hopefully we get to find out uh, what is going to be in the first DLC. And what the hidden treasures of Area Zero is. I guess one of the... Yeah, there was like a Raikou weird looking Pokemon, I guess. But I won't go too much into detail here. I would love to discuss this stuff with you guys on stream whenever we play Scarlet or Violet. So yeah. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys for watching my reaction to the Pokemon Percents. I think the only thing I liked really was the release date of the DLC and Pokemon Stadium 2. <laughs> Bye guys. Have a great rest of your day, gamers.